thanks for uh, tuning in to Commandoland. Today, taking a look at some introductory blues mandolin techniques. Uh, going to be first uh, in an intermittent series here as we go. Uh, but today, just a few nice shuffle patterns. Uh, get you sounding bluesy right away here. Now, before we get going, be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. Commandoland, uh, doing a lot of these lessons and tutorials and stuff. Uh, of course, I got the PayPal pages up and running. If you're getting something out of these lessons and stuff and are able to kick a buck or two to the channel, man, that would sure be greatly appreciated. And, of course, I have the uh, Commandolin store up and running with t-shirts and hoodies and stickers and stuff. Uh, but enough of all that. Let's check out a few uh, blue shuffle patterns and get going here. All right, going to take a look at our basic uh, shuffle patterns here in uh, G. string and because uh, I don't want you don't want them to go like this so I'm going to mute them with my palm and all down strokes this is you know straight guitar playing technique here up to the fifth fret here in Bart with our uh, first finger and hammering on seventh fret with our ring finger. Now for the D chord we could come up here but the frets get kind of starting getting kind of compressed on me up here. A lot of times I'll do this down here at the open D. string here second fret back to the C chord and a little turnaround there literally three notes fifth fret of the G string sixth fret and you could just carry it out to the seventh fret but whoops usually hit it as an open string because it'll ring out a lot longer that way so open I'll go from fifth six to the open so there's there's one pattern right that just a little bit by adding one note. Instead of just a second, we can go to the third fret as well. Second, third, second. Same thing when we come up here, we're still barring on the fifth fret. Still hammering on with our ring finger, but we're gonna have to take our finky, or our finky, <laughs> our pinky, and pick up that extra note. And same thing, I could come up here to the D on the seventh fret, but I would probably do it as an open string, and then doing the second and third on the A string. notes. Just don't want to cram your fingers in quite as much. So that's two good patterns right there. Of course you do it faster, it's rock and roll, right? Just depends how you dress. 
dress it up, and it's all the same. So there's two good shuffle patterns. Now here's a third. We're gonna add one more note to it one more time, and I give it a lot more of a walking feel. That's the note we're gonna add right there, fourth fret of the G string. So there's the notes we're gonna be playing. come up here and just play this same symmetrical pattern up here but I'll probably do it down here you know again carry it down here to the open and just like in the G we do open to the fourth so the open a second and third hand movement. To just do the C down here, fifth, second, fifth, and then open A, and then hammering on the first fret to the B flat, and walking that back. It's the same notes either way, just presenting options. turnaround. So there's a third kind of shuffle pattern that you can have, you know, a million different variations with. But there's three, three good shuffle patterns right off the bat. There's that one. There's this one. think of here. It's pretty common. Blues sound. You're combining this shuffle with just simple two note C chord and G chord. at a few patterns here, little shuffle patterns to get us going. All right, thanks again for tuning in today to our look at a few blues shuffle patterns for uh, mandolin. 
I've got upcoming videos where we'll talk about the seventh chords. You know, we'll talk about the chord progression and we'll talk about the blues scale and you know, and each one will just have to be its own video or else the thing will be an hour long. So we're just going to do this in bite-sized chunks. So today, just looking at a few shuffle patterns and I hope that gets you going and uh, gets you something to play with for a little bit. Uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll see you next time. Happy playing.